Hi, I'm Luminous Star. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Star. For you guys and gals who are current subscribers, wait for it. Mwah. Thank you so much for being my stars. It is you who keep me motivated to keep this channel active. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. You guys and gals, you share your stories. You leave some awesome comments. And I really appreciate this because when you share your story, you are absolutely helping other people on the planet. Just want you to know that. For you guys and gals who are visiting Luminous Star for the first time, welcome to the Luminous Star. And why don't you join the Luminous Star family by hitting that subscription button below. Also below, you will find a disclaimer in the description box. Please read the information in the description box. There's a disclaimer that states that today's video will have images as well as information that some viewers will absolutely find disturbing, okay? And having said that, today's video is about narcissistic parents who run the dysfunctional family like a cult leader. I'm going to get into thought reform programs and I'm going to give you a little bit of background of what cults are. Okay, so again, mind the description box below where the disclaimer is. And for those of you who will remain and watch this video today, thank you for your purchase in advance. Thank you for your donations and also thank you for your time. I'm Luminous Star. Enjoy the video. The malignant narcissist has a desire deep down of bringing down other people in a way that they feel brought down. And that leads to extremes. According to Kill Duff's research, people were working inhumane hours, often seven days a week, on the temple's various programs. At the temple itself, members were forced to confess to fabricated crimes for which they would be given vicious beatings. Ex-members asserted even children were being abused in this way. According to their descriptions, Jones was a classic cult leader, using spirituality to exert power psychologically and sexually over his cult. Many children, very often, Parents who either have a narcissistic personality disorder or they have a cost to be personality, what often happens is that they will groom their children either to develop a narcissistic personality disorder or a cost to be personality, or they're going to groom that child to become a person who grows up to behave codependently. Narcissists have a sixth sense about which child to choose to be a safe victim for their supply. So what the narcissist does is they break that child down more by sexually molesting them, by sexually molesting them. Female narcissists usually have a very strange relationship with their sons while seemingly choosing to uh, their daughters to scapegoat. Okay, so while some female narcissists who have sons, especially the eldest son, she tends to choose the eldest son to have sexual relationships with, while she seemingly chooses the eldest daughter to scapegoat. Examples of how male narcissists use sex as a weapon. Going over to the left side, during sexual intercourse, male narcissists receive supply by giving their sexual partners everything that they do not like about themselves. Just like I was saying in a previous slide, you know, female narcissist, she's uh, scoping out every aspect in the partner, the sexual partner that she has for source of supply, all their weaknesses, all their fears, you know, all everything about them that she can use as a source of supply during the sex act. Her sense is heightened her, her sense of, uh, prowling and becoming a pre or being a predator is heightened as well as a male narcissist. Cults share certain defining characteristics. In a cult, leaders recruit members through deceptive techniques that rob them of their identity and individuality. Experts have termed these techniques thought reform. Thought reform is a systematic effort which has two stages the term brainwashing is a popular term describing what's classically called 
a thought reform program. And all those terms mean that a person or an organization has put into place a coordinated program of coercive influence and behavior control. Now I think this is satanic. The purpose of this is to cleanse the group as a whole by sacrificing the scapegoat. This is seen within the dysfunctional family headed by the narcissist as a righteous, guys pinpoint that word righteous, because I'm gonna make a point about that, as a righteous thing to do, while also possibly obtaining a life of narcissistic supply. It is perhaps from the perspective of the dysfunctional family that the scapegoat is not an individual who possesses a heart, a mind, a spirit, a higher consciousness, or even a soul. The scapegoat is devalued within the dysfunctional family. So basically, guys, what we have here is the child who was pinpointed, unfortunately, to be the scapegoat. Not only are they devalued, but within that devaluation, they are demonized by other family members within the dysfunctional family. And this is headed by the narcissistic parents. This is headed by the narcissistic parent. Thought reform is a systematic effort which has two stages. One is the breakdown stage with heavy confession and a, a breakdown of one's own psychic integrity. And then there's the second stage which is re-education, trying to remake a person into a new person. Earth, our home, incubator of life. Through our lines of life.